There are so many different brands of batteries with big differences in costs. That got me thinking, do you really pay for what you get? The sizes are standard, AA, AAA, and is the material in the batteries that much different? This got me thinking, let's go. So I went to the store and purchased the most expensive AA battery I could find, Energizer at 877. No, the most expensive I saw was this eight pack of Duracells for 918. Look at this, with tax almost 10 bucks. Then I went to another store to find the cheapest price battery, super heavy duty eight pack for $1.25. Well, plus tax, it's, be it's still under $1.50. Such a deal. Did you want a bag? Uh, no, that's okay. okay. Here we go. The Super Heavy Duty against the Duracell. Even if the Super Heavy Duty lasts half as long, it's a better deal. To make this fair, I'm going to make sure both batteries out of the package have a full charge. First, the super heavy duty. Full and deep in the green. Now, the Duracell. Same. By the way, if you want a battery tester like this, I'll leave a link in the description where to get it. It's pretty handy. You can test all types of batteries. They're both ready to fight it out. Next, I purchased two identical wall cloths and inserted the batteries. Both clocks are working nicely. I hung both clocks up. Super heavy duty battery is in the California clock and the Duracell is in the New York clock. I'm going to forget about these and let time take its course. Finally, one of the clock's batteries have failed about 11 months later. Yes, I waited 11 months for this to happen. The super heavy duty as expected is done and in the red. The Duracell is still in the green, but you can see lost some energy. I'm going to hang the clock up with the Duracell battery still in it and see how long this will run. Finally, the New York Duracell clock seems to be struggling and slowing down. I'm going to take this clock down and test the battery. Check it with my battery test meter. Again, if you want one of these, they're $7 and support all types of different size batteries. I'll leave a link in the description where to get this. The battery is on the edge of red. Still a little bit more life, but getting weaker versus the super heavy duty went dead quick. As of this test, about a year and a half later versus the super heavy duty's 11 months runtime. So the Duracell is a better battery, but it's five times the price and it didn't last five times longer, about a half a year longer. But wait, when I went back to the store I purchased the Super Heavy Duty from, there was a lady in line trying to return her batteries because she said one blew up. The funny thing is they wouldn't take them back, but they would give her store credit. She used the store credit to stock up on beef jerky sticks. All that beef jerky, something else is gonna blow up. Go ahead and...